Hey guys, I just want to welcome you back for another video and today I am using the brand new Tribal Treasures to make a quick little art journal page and this came out back on June 1st so it is still available for purchase so definitely go check out www.shinysilvertreasures.com if you're interested in anything that you've seen in the video so far and before I chat about what I did for this art journal page, let me just remind everybody that the links that you need are down in the description box below, so definitely feel free to check those out, as well as, of course, all the links to the other gals on the design team. Um, they have been making a whole lot of amazing stuff. There's been tags and cards and all kinds of projects, so definitely go check out what the gals have been doing. Um, it's been so much fun. Um, I've been a little bit behind in my schedule, but that's something for a different conversation. Um, I don't want to get distracted with it. Um, but in any case, so like I said, I'm making an art journal page today using Dawn and Shiny Silver Treasures brand new release. And I'll say it every time, every time we think we can't, that she can't outdo what she's done the prior month here we go and it has been an absolute ball using the tribal treasures oh my gosh and i know we all had fun doing the collab um it's not exactly a vlog hop i think that's what i called it in my video but it's technically it's just a collaboration between all of us um all across the different platforms um came in and used you know paper the stencil and a mask and and then we have all the other stuff that we've all been making independently with it. So lots and lots and lots of inspiration to go check out. If you want to pick up this kit, then you can see a whole lot of variety of ways that you can use it. And as always, you get so much more crammed in there. Like you cannot believe how much stuff comes in this kit. So definitely go check it out. Feel free to go do that now. Or as always, you're welcome to just sit and hang out with me, um, craft along or just enjoy the music and the process and all that. Um, so like I said, Tribal Treasures, it is now available for purchase. Um, and what I did is, and, and I do apologize, I forgot to record the first part of it where I was building up the background. You didn't miss much of it, but I had layered some gesso to prep the art journal page, and then I used tumbled glass and rusty hinge from Tim Holtz Oxide inks to work like a watercolor. So that's what I did to prep the background, and then here you see I'm using the lunar paste to go along with it. Um, there's a lot of really good earthy neutral tones in Dawn's kit for this month. Um, she tends to have a lot of those because that's a lot more universal and she's really good about giving you a lot of variety in what you can use and how you can put it together. Um, but because there was a lot of neutral in what I was using today, including the mask that I selected for the focal piece, I wanted to come in with some blue to kind of offset um, all the, all the neutral colors. So it is a nice shade of blue. It complements the tumbled glass really well. Um, so again, I was using the lunar paste and that is in, sorry, it's right here on my desk. What color is that? It's one of my favorite. It's tropical tango is what this one is called. Um, it's the only one I have so far in the Lunar Paste, but that's the one color I love the most. So that's the one I've been working with. And just a heads up for that, same thing with the Distress Oxide inks. A little goes a very, very long way with the Lunar Paste. Um, you can use it as a texture paste like I did here. You can use it as like a spreadable wax almost. And I also kind of used it as a watercolor. When I was cleaning off the stencil, I used a baby wipe. And then I took it and dabbed it in to add just a little bit more blue to the background. So it's got a lot of versati versatility. Sorry if I could get that word out. Um, it's a new product, so I haven't explored all the ways in which you can use it. But I thought it would work really, really nicely with the colors of... Dawn stuff in this kit, you know, like I said, especially those neutral colors. 
So in any case, so that's what you see here. I'm just working up the background, um, getting the layers in place. And then I came in and I used the stamps that come with the set. I used the butterfly, a flower, and a leaf, uh, leaf branch for, again, building up the background. And I just used the rusty hinge. So it kind of appears um, a little bit darker because of not being watered down. And then I also had fun using one of the little wooden embellishments in the tumbled glass to kind of double as a stamp. Um, I've done this a fair few, fair number of times so far. I know one of them from, or two of them from the earlier kits. I know for sure there was a really pretty wooden embellishment that came in the Vintage Treasures turn that into a stamp and I will definitely do that periodically with the embellishments that come in Dawn's kit and I still use them as a stamp I've not I've not attached them to anything there was like a yellow wooden flower embellishment that I literally glued I took apart the finger dauber the foam part and hot glued it to one of those yellow flowers and I used that as a stamp um and then here, after using the little, I think it was the little tree embellishment as a stamp, I went ahead and attached it to the project with four other wooden embellishments. And I did color them all in the tumbled glass, um, again, just to give a little bit of a pop of color against all those neutrals. Um, I'm trying to remember to talk about the technique about what I do. Um, if this is something that you are interested in, that you would like to see me do more in the videos, rather than just like a quick intro and then set to music, which this will go to music for the rest of it, because um, I'm just kind of giving you an overview of what I'm doing, and then the rest will go to music, because I, it's not a whole lot that I really did here. But if that is something that you're interested in seeing, let me know, and I can definitely bump that up when I'm getting into editing videos and stuff. Um, so anyway, so what you see here is I took some of the fabric ribbon, uh, sorry, fabric ribbon that was included in the kit and the necklace on the little mask or what looks like a necklace is really pretty, but for me, it didn't quite go with the color palette. So I just took a little piece. I snipped a piece of that fabric ribbon, cut it in half and then kind of turned it into a mixed media piece, like it's adding some fabric to the neck of the mask to replace the part of the image. Um, again, it was just because of a color thing for me. Um, I'm trying to really practice color palettes and, and learning how to put things together. And again, like the necklace that was in that little mask image just was not quite the right color for what I was looking for. Um, but other than that, I like that mask. It's probably my second favorite. I think not too long ago, there should have been a video put up um, of a card. I just did a quick card and the mask that I used on that and the mask I used on the collaboration project is my absolute favorite out of all the masks that are available. Um, I will use them all, but you'll probably see me use that one most. And then again, this is my second favorite. Um, I just really like how this, the face of this mask looks, even though it's in profile, it just really brings a lot of character that I really, really like. So, like I said, I just kept this background simple. A lot of it is practicing. Uh, the biggest thing to practice is listening to the voice when it tells you to stop. Um, that is really difficult. Um, but I'm definitely getting better, you know, just kind of learning how to set up the composition and stuff like that, which can still be tricky. So that's why I kind of gravitate to these smaller art journal pages because my brain doesn't seem to get as overwhelmed with the smaller space, if that makes sense. So it makes it easier to learn how to listen to the voice and stop when you should. So anyway, um, just a little mental side note. So I, like I said, I just used the little metal, the little wooden embellishments as additional 
pieces of interest on here to kind of go along and enhance the mask image without overshadowing it, which is why I also opted to use the tumbled glass. I thought if I'd used the lunar paste to color them, that would be a little bit too strong of a color, and then it would overshadow that mask, and I didn't want to do that. Um, so it's pretty much just what you see here, just coloring up the rest of the pieces that I picked out, and then I tack them all down with some hot glue. Um, I used some book pages, Again, because of a color choice, not because the other, the one flower image just was not the right shade of yellow to go with what I had in mind. And then I used the 6x6 ombre paper in the brown to put that little darker shade of color, again, to break up all the yellows and the blues on the main part of the background. And again, to give something to complement that brown in the embellishment. So... Again, it's just practicing with color. You know, I still have so much to learn, and this really, really was a fun little practice piece. So hope you guys have fun. Uh, there's probably not a whole lot left, but I'll tip it to music anyway. And you guys take care, stay safe. Don't forget to visit Dawn's website, and I will see you in the next video.